Did you know that Excel's multivariate analysis can forecast safety risks in project management? In this video, we'll create and share a dynamic template in Excel for multiple regression using several methods. Excel's data analysis tool pack, index linus function for multivariate analysis, and analyzing observed versus predicted safety risks by plotting combo charts with clustered column. You can follow along by getting the Excel workbook via the provided link in the description below. Stefan is identifying variables and using data analysis tools for multiple regression. Our case study includes 10 projects with observations on the number of safety risks, safety induction hours per worker, night shifts, and safe work method statements. Seemingly, there is a meaningful relationship between the number of safety risks and other three variables. To investigate this, we should first activate the free data analysis add-on to Excel. This can be done via File tab, Options, Excel add-ins, Analysis tool pack. After activation, click on Data Analysis and select Regression from the list. Input Y range is the dependent variable which is the column related to observed safety risks in our example. Input X range defines independent variable which are the columns related to safe work method statements, night shifts, and safety induction hours. We must check the box for labels as we have selected column headings. In the summary output worksheet, regression statistics are shown which will be interpreted in our next step. Step 2 is interpreting multiple regression results in Excel. Multiple R or correlation coefficient which is 0.9549 suggests a strong positive relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variable of safety risks. R square or the coefficient of determination means that 91.19% of variability in the number of safety accidents can be explained by R3 independent variables. The standard error suggests that the predicted number of safety risks deviate from the actual observation by about 0.2992. Under ANOVA or analysis of variance, a high FS statistics value of 20.7049 suggests that our regression model provides a better fit to the data compared to a model with no predictors or just the intercept. Our F-test rejects this null hypothesis. Significance F for p-value of 0.0014 is much smaller than the common alpha level of 0.05 and shows that our regression model is statistically significant. Based on the coefficients, the multiple regression equation is number of safety risks equal 2.6776 minus 0.2074 times safety induction hours plus 0.3350 times number of night shifts minus 0.0225 times safe work method statements. However, considering p-values, we can simplify the multiple regression model by excluding independent variables with p-values greater than 0.05. In our example, we can exclude safe work method statements with p-value of 0.7875. The model that uses statistically significant variables is shown here. Step 3 is using index linus function for multivariate analysis. We can numerically calculate coefficients and intercept of our multiple regression model using index linus function. Select a cell for C1 or coefficient of the first independent variable, which is safe work method statement and insert the index linus function. The first argument is known bys, which is number of safety risks in this example. The second argument after the comma or known x's are values for our three independent variables. Remember to set the last argument equal to 1 for the first independent variable, which is safe work method statement. To calculate C2 or coefficient of the second independent variable, set the last argument of index linus to 2. To calculate C3 or coefficient of the third independent variable, set the last argument to 3. Finally, we can calculate the intercept of our multiple regression by setting the last argument of index linus to 4. Results confirm that numeric calculations by Excel functions provide the same results as the regression tool in the data analysis tool pack. Step 4 is analyzing observed versus predicted values by plotting a combo chart. We can predict the number of safety risks using our model. The predicted number of safety risks in our first project will be 2.6776 plus 10 times minus 0.0225 plus 1 times 0.3350 plus 9 times minus 0.2074 which will be 0.92. We can generate predictions for all 10 projects by replicating the formula. To plot observed versus predicted safety risks, select both columns including headers. Then go to the Insert tab and in the Charts group, select Line with Markers. We can improve visualization for project reporting by creating a combo chart. Right-click on the chart and select Change Chart Type. In the dialog box, select Combo Chart from the left menu. Then set the chart type for observed number of safety risks to clustered column. If the bars or observed values and the line points or predicted values are close to each other, it indicates a good fit for the progression model. Combo charts can quickly show issues of overestimation and underestimation. 
And here it is, an easy and short implementation of multiple regression using only four simple steps in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing. I hope to have your comments and see you in the next one.